Joe. Tour alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the Royal London Theatre here in London, England. Our main event should be a good one tonight. 12 rounds of welterweight action. We are looking forward to this fight, especially after seeing what happened at the weigh-in yesterday. A stare down that nearly resulted in a bout breaking out right there. Now they get to do it for real. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. So we are underway here. Round one, scheduled for 12. Right hand lands flush. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Big shot, the right came clean. Teddy, explain this to me. Hey, this fighter was just staggered and stunned. Now all of a sudden he's defending beautifully. Yeah, because he's on instincts now. Before he was thinking, he was overthinking. That happens out in life in a lot of places. And now he's not. Now just naturally, instinctively, survival mode is there. He's doing all the things, Joe, that he was taught in the gym. Things he couldn't do before because he was worried about doing them. He had too many things clogging his head. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Exchange, he fires back. <laughs> Able to dismiss that body shot. He snaps a jab. Just missed scoring with that punch. Last 10 seconds of this first round. This round comes to an end, and Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty slick in there, pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit, making himself a difficult target, but his punch is a little wide. Needs to shorten them up. No, assert yourself. Assert your punches. He seems fully recovered to me. Here we are, the start of a new round, and a fighter that got tagged hard in the last round seems as fresh as could be. Well, when you push a fighter, when you push a human being to a dark place, that's when you're going to find out what's bright inside of them, what's great inside of them. And he's responding just that way. Great movement to get away from those punches. Nice. 
gets rid of that body shot. Oh, that uppercut got him badly. Pulls the trigger right off hand after getting tagged himself. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. That right hand serving him well. Had his target in mind, but just missed. The last thing either guy wants to be here, Teddy, is one-dimensional. The last thing you want to be in anything to be successful is one-dimensional. I mean, if you're a comedian, you don't want to be saying the same jokes all the time. Your crowd's not going to be there. Well, your opponent is going to be there all night long if you do the same thing. Able to show you his blocking ability. Just off the mark with that punch. Solid hook. Right. A little head hunting with the right. Locks it away. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punches. Well, the old times used to say when you calm in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Blocks that punch. Look at that! The hook came home with ease. And you keep, keep moving, keep your hands moving, and you'll beat him to the punch. All right, listen, stop waiting on him, all right? You're waiting on him. I, I, mean, I, I don't know what you're doing. Don't wait on this kid. Put your jab in his face and the keep it there. The Shorten yeah. your punches up. We came here to work. So this round is underway, and what a difference a break makes for him. Look at how fresh he is to start this round after getting nice. hit hard and rocked nice. in that last round. What a difference a rest makes when the corner knows how to take advantage of that rest. They got water on him, they revived him, they massaged his legs a little bit, gave him some encouragement, good to go. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. And he's holding. Showing you some defense there with the block. Wow, is he defensively sound. Now he ties up there. Protecting his head well with his guard. Very nice work with the double jab up top. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three minute round. Now hugging on the inside. Block. This is brilliant defense we're seeing here every which way. Blocking punches, moving well, parrying punches away. Yeah, he's doing a great job. Now he has to connect the offense a little bit better. Relax. Relax. You're not focusing. But let's see some more head movement.
That punch nowhere close. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Nice work. There's a right hand. Three minutes gone by in this round. You got me? He's out working. He's stronger than him. Yeah, we'll get him. We'll get him. Looking good. Looking good. All right, keep your hands up, all right? All right? You're doing fine. All right. All we need is water up there, and that's it. You don't need that. I'm going to throw that away. Ahead on Teddy's scorecard as we start round number four, but I still think that either fighter could take complete control of this fight. He's up around right now. <laughs> Fires right back at him. So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counter punch. And what you notice in here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he... Oh, and a big right hand. Solid. Big headshot puts him down. up after that punch put him down on the canvas now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy well he's throwing it but just missed isn't landing it good way to protect the midsection he thinks of himself as a home run hitter teddy but he's been striking out tonight and he looks like a pitcher who's lost complete sight of the catcher's mid. i mean he cannot throw a strike His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. Punch! Punch! Jump 90 off. seconds nice. to go in round number four. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Unable to land that shot. <laughs> Little head knocking with that right hand. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Was off the mark. Back and forth exchange. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself a bit. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something either bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. Real good sign for him right here. He's coming out and looks fresh. He's up on his toes and boxing the way he was. That after a round in which he was knocked down. Yeah, that's about DNA. That's about genetics. I mean, he has good recovery skills. That's it. <laughs> a 
And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. What a turnaround. You never know what's going to happen in this game. You're never supposed to take anything for granted, never assume anything. They tell you that in life. In the ring, you get taught that real fast. He got caught by a big shot. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Pace yourself. He's tired. Halfway into round number five here. Left and right, left and right. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Relax, relax. You're not focused. Great round this has turned into after two big shot. Can he get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down? One, two, three, four. Five. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. those headshots with his defense up top. He's got that certain something that's a well-acquired skill in this craft of boxing, and that is superb defense, and it's on target tonight. It is. The old-timers would say, you know, that's the hard thing, is to learn defense. You know, the easy part, the fun part, is letting your hands go. So he's got the hard part down. Guess what? He's enjoying the fun part right now because of it. What a revealing round we just saw. Each man was able to hurt the other. You really can tell how much is on the line here between these two. Yeah, they both came here. I mean, they're in the best shapes of their career. They came here understanding what this fight means. This is it. You heard it. Keep on him. Okay, listen. Body and head, body and head. Double up on your punches. Double up your body punches, thin head. He has a new round in front of him, but I don't know that there's any new hope. He's been down numerous times tonight, including that last round. You never know what a person's capable of when they're pushed to the brink, but this would be very unlikely. It would be spectacular. Off the mark there. Good defense, just covering up down low. Come on, kid, focus. Teddy, I'm starting to wonder. What is the answer for this guy? Can he do anything else than this? Yeah, he throws punches, but he has no accuracy. Can this change in mid-fight? Well, it has to if he wants to win this fight. And how does it change? Well, you know, the problem is these things have to be put in place in the gym. I don't know if you could do it right now, but if you could, you tell him in the corner, hey, tighten up a little bit, you know, shorten up these darn punches. Uppercut! That punch just close. Pace yourself. Halfway through this round here.
Lex is able to counter that attack. Carries that punch intended for the head. He's throwing a lot of punches here. Now his opponent is showing very, very good movement. What adjustments can he make to deal with that movement? Well, Joe, when you're fighting a guy who... Oh, and there you go. That was a big shot that scored him. And it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's it. What a way to end the night with a knockout. You saw it coming. Problem is, he didn't see it. To cap it all, we send it up to the ring. Now that's how you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout, but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch? Can a guy defend? You know, can a guy control distance? But you want to know, can a guy finish? He got the answer. Yes, he can finish. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time at the fights.